Hey, what up guys? It's Sick, and today we're gonna talk a little bit about MQ2SK. So this is another one of the chat with this name class plugins that's been in the works for a little while, and uh, we're getting to the point that it's close for a release, so I'm gonna do a little video and uh, talk about uh, what's going on with it. So just above me over here, I got a little box, and this is gonna do if I type stuff out. So if I do like slash say hi, you'll see what I'm typing out that way if I do any commands. Anyway, so we're gonna load uh, MQ2SK, MQ2SK, load. I don't know why chat chose the name ESKAY. I think he was trying to be cute, uh, but that's what it's called. So we're gonna load that bad boy. Uh, now, if you notice my window didn't load for whatever reason. Um, so you just do a chat show and it'll pop right up. Uh, now it does that sometimes if you unload and load, it has to do with EQ and UIs and whatever nonsense. Anyway, uh, let's adjust this so it's nice and easy to read. Okay. So here's a couple things. Out the box, it's set up to just function out the box. Um, and if you want to have it set up to do your own spell lineup or whatever, you can absolutely do that. It still has all the logic of using all the abilities. Um, so you can just click BYOS and you can use your own spell set um, and it'll use your own abilities. If you have it set to not be BYOS, which is the default, out of the box, it'll start memorizing stuff. Like if I if I unclick this, it's gonna go ahead and be like, yo, we're supposed to have this spell in this spell slot. Let me put that bad boy back. Um, so this is kind of out of the box. This is usually how I run here uh, with disruption turned on, uh, torrent turned on, insidious turned off. Um, now, the reason some of these things have a toggle, for example, example, use disruption. Okay, disruptions that buff that you get is a shortish buff. That's why you have to keep it memorized. Lasts like four and a half minutes. Uh, but if you receive a heal while you have it on, you nuke your target and you AOE everyone around you. Like, hey, everybody, fuck you! And if you're doing quests in in uh, any zone that has uh, NPCs that you can aggro, that's not fun. So uh, we gotta have that toggle. Um, like if you're doing quests in crystal caverns or you're doing quests in eastern wastes uh, those npcs will aggro you if you uh, get a heal while you have that on so we can just click that off and if you notice i will uh, go ahead and memorize another spell uh, i'll memorize my bite now it has bite here because i have used torrent on where normally uh, bite would be here and then uh, this will just be another uh, another life tap now if i turn on use alliance um it will memorize my alliance spell down there instead if I turn that back off, it'll put back the life tap that I had before. If I go back to Torrent, it'll swap these back where it's going to put uh, Torrent back here and then it's going to put Bite back down there. So just a, a little bit of juggling. Um, out the box, it, it's set up to use the Asia line. Now the Asia line has uh, the horror, okay? So this is the one that gives you a chance to uh, do a life tap upon hitting. Okay, the Beza is the one that gives you um, the uh, uh, mana tap. Okay, now by default, we're using Asia, and in doing that, we say, hey, if I have this AA ability Asia, I want to use it. Then, after it uses it, it's going to check each of the individual buffs to see if you have something. Um, if you have a spell that is better than your Asia. So if you had like rank seven, um, it would, you know, check to see Asia, it would cast it, and then it would check each of those individuals in case you were kind of between ranks on your thing, or maybe you were like level 112 and you didn't, you know, you might have the 112 buff where the Asia is giving you something from like 109 or something. Um, and then obviously if you uh, do the Beza, it's going to instead check for... Uh, uh, the fright instead of the horror and do the same of the other checks as well. So that'll give you the option to use one or the other. Um, now, if you if you don't have Beza, but you still use the use Beza, it's just going to look for the fright instead of the horror and obviously not use the AA if you don't have it. Um, what do we got? Uh, summon Remains. This thing is going to use your class uh, Summon Remains. Where is it? Uh, summon remains now this is going to summon your teammates as long as they have a corpse in the zone that is further away than a hundred units feet meters bananas whatever the measurement is for everquest 
Um, so as long as you're, as long as you have your teammate in zone with you and they have a corpse that is greater than 100 meters away, and you also have the components, uh, this requires four tiny jade inlaid coffins, then it'll just automatically summon them, uh, summon them to you. Now, summon remains will summon other corpses from other zones, but we have no way of determining if your teammate has a corpse in another zone. So it'll only do it if they have a corpse in the zone that you're in and they are with you at the moment. Um, now, if they happen to have a corpse in another zone when it does that, then it'll summon all of those corpses to you and, uh, and GG. But if uh, your teammate's corpse is in another zone, we have no idea and no way to know if they have a corpse somewhere else. So it won't do it. Um, AA Snare. So we have the Encroaching Darkness uh, line, wherever it is, Encroaching Darkness line. Now we have a toggle in case you don't feel like snaring stuff. Uh, we currently are still working on all of the logic to handle if uh, your mob resists it or uh, they are immune to it. Um, so right now this is just something that you can toggle off. For me, I use my beast with the pet snare, so I don't even worry about using Encroaching Darkness. Um, Let's talk about uh, Fane. So I leave, uh, this is one of the general chat with this name class plugin settings, auto stand on duck, auto stand on Fane. Now I leave auto stand on Fane turned off for my Shadow Knight and uh, use Fane as off. Now it's not going to Fane death you if you're tanking anyway, uh, but I just, I have that turned off just as a personal default. Um, but if you have auto stand on Fane turned on, then if you were to manually feign death, you would automatically stand up. And uh, for me, since I drive with my Shadow Knight, I want to be able to feign death and just be feign and not stand up in case I'm wiping or I'm trying to split a pull or I'm doing something manually. Um, if this were clicked on, you would see here, I just automatically stand up. Um, now again, the, the window itself, this currently does not save your settings to your I and I. So if I were to unload this plugin and reload it back, it would re it would load from the defaults, or excuse me, not the defaults. It would load from what I have in my I and I file, not from what was last in my window. If I wanted to change any of these uh, to change in my uh, in my any file, I would do slash shad, uh, and all the chat with this name class plugins are the class short name as the like the slash. So slash shd. Uh, use torrent, torrent uh, on, right? And uh, use torrent is now on. Now that would that would actually send it to the ini file, and next time I load up the plugin, it would it would remember that. Whereas if, for example, um, if I use Insidious here, um, it's going to use Insidious, and it's not going to. Um, It's not going to remember that when I uh, when I do the thing. Uh, yeah, hold on, am I invisible? Yeah. All right, sorry for that brief interruption there. Um, when I faint death, I went invisible and I didn't notice it because of my uh, my whatever. Anyhow. So uh, back to this. So if we were to uh, click on use Insidious, for example, we're going to memorize our use in uh, our Insidious into that slot. Now, because um, I just toggled it here, it's not going to save it in the INI. It's just going to make it use it temporarily. If I wanted to save it in the INI, I would shad uh, use Insidious on. Okay. And then it would, you see here, use Insidious on and that actually saves it when you type out the command. Um, I'm not sure what the plan is if we're planning on making it save to the I and I when we do click these or if it's or if we are intending it to be uh, just a short term like a temporary like a toggle on temporarily use whatever. Um, but okay so we went over uh, summon remains, BYOS, a snare, Beza, uh, disruption, uh, use feign. So use feign would be like if you are a uh, in assist mode or one of the assist modes, meaning you're not, you know, you're not tanking and you're not MA, um, you have feign at aggro, feign at health. So you can set those to a value and at those values, you would use feign. So if you have feign aggro at 90 and you reach 91 aggro, you're going to feign death. Same thing with that health. If, uh, if you have it set for 60 and you get to 55 health, you're going to feign death. And then, uh, we have a stand on feign at health. 
So if you feigned at health 60 and then you got back to 80% health, you're going to stand back up. Um, and that would be obviously with auto stand on feign, matching that value, then you would, you would do the thing. Um, so it gives a little bit of flexibility to be able to manage exactly how and when you want to do those things. Um, so we went over that. Use Fane. Uh, use Hate's Attraction. Hate's Attraction is is this bad boy right here. This is the one that pulls your target to you. It's like the scorpion, like, get over here kind of shit. Um, that is not always great to use. If you're in a dungeon that has a really low roof and maybe a low floor and you rip a dude to you, he might go through the ceiling or through the floor or whatever. And uh, he's going to pull a bunch of mobs. And uh, I mean, that might be good or bad, depending on your setup. Um, but we have that option to turn that off. Um, it'll... It should only use hates attraction if somebody else has aggro. So if one of your teammates has aggro, um, that's when he's going to use his like, uh, you know, his terror line and uh, hates attraction and um, you know rip those mobs over to him so he can he can get close to it and, and bust them up. Um, we have uh, used torrent here. I showed that before. This uh, is going to put torrent instead of bite. This is the one that like is a group armor tab. And then we have used voice of Thule. Now, I don't care. If you do or do not think that Voice of Thule stacks with other stuff and your mask and whatever, I don't care. The reason I don't care is because I've watched people argue over this for a long time and it doesn't matter. Um, it's in here. If you don't want it to use Voice of Thule, you can click that off and it won't put Voice of Thule on you and you can save yourself that buff slot. As you can see, we have a lot of buffs here. Um, if you do want to use it, you can click that bad boy on and then it's going to use Voice of Thule and keep that buffed on you. Um, it's very likely that in the future uh, we will have uh, a more advanced logic for Voice of Thule that if you are in raid mode, uh, you are not uh, a tank, a raid tank assigned, um, that you would put it on, you know, you'll have an option to be able to put it on whatever raid assist you want to put it on, like if you want to put it on a warrior or whatever. Um, but so these are the options we have in here. The modes are all the same as all the chat with this name class plugins um where you have you know one through eight you have uh um you know zero or excuse me zero through eight so you have zero which is manual mode um this is going to be if you want to you know uh, get your own targets and turn on attack yourself and then once you turn on attack then it'll do all of its stuff um assist chase vorpal those are assisting modes not tank modes you have mode four, which is tank mode. This is the one that's going to set a red circle and uh, current zone. You're going to set a red circle and mob, when mobs enter that red circle, you're going to fight them. Uh, we have puller tank and uh, we just went over and tried to fight this. So this is actually a good example here. So I'm trying to fight this guy. Uh, maybe I don't want to fight him. So I'm going to shad ignore and he's going to ignore this target. I'm going to run back to where I was before. Um, at my tank because or excuse me at my tank spot because now I have no uh, there are no mobs in here for me to pull so just kind of ran back um, then we have uh, puller assist mode same thing except for you are not tanking you're assisting sick tank mode this is what I roll in a lot of the times this is kind of my default go-to sick tank like I described in the mq2 warrior video they they do uh, we do set a camp Okay, so if mobs come in this, we're going to react to it, but it allows us to walk around. Uh, so if you want to manually pull, like if I wanted to go back to wherever that aberration was, and if I wanted to pull him myself, I could do that. And um, I could either hit like my go to camp button, which is just literally shad <laughs> space go to camp, and I'll run back to camp. Or, for example, if I was out manually pulling um, and somebody aggroed my group, I'm going to run back and be like, hey, my group's getting busted up let me go save them um this is good stuff so i usually run in in either manual mode or sick tank mode since i kind of drive with my tank um and i have my hotkeys up on the boards it's really difficult to see what the hotkeys are since i can't drag this to be larger but i do things like my camp here button camp here on for everybody so anybody running kiss assist is going to turn on camp here and then I have a no parse BCG do command me class short name mode one. So that turns everybody in my group that's not me into mode one, which is assist mode. Then I turn on shad mode seven. And then I have everybody do a reset camp. Uh, and reset camp is, um, uh, for example, I'm in mode, let's go mode zero. Shad mode zero. Okay, I'm in mode zero, right? 
Uh, I'm going to go mode 7 right here. So I just set a camp. If I shad mode 7 here, right? So I just did shad mode 7 again uh, for sick tank. It's not going to change where my camp spot is, right? So if I went shad mode 0 and shad mode 7, it's going to now put my camp at where I am. But in doing in doing the uh, the reset camp, it'll it'll just automatically reset my camp. So that's useful for me or my dudes if I'm running them around or doing some stuff where I'm like, I want to force them to to set their set their mode in their camp right where we're at right now. Like maybe we're fighting a mob and I want to have them reset it. That way I don't have to have everyone go mode zero and then come back to mode one or seven or or, or whatever. Um, so that's kind of it. I mean, uh, SK is really awesome. The They have a lot of utility, a lot of really cool stuff. We have all the AAs uh, in there. Um, the burn routine is set up for both tank burn and for non-tank burn. Um, this is a newer SK that I made here a couple weeks ago. So what am I? I'm like 113. Um, at 110 with my 110 group, I've, I've been able to one-drop Gricklore and uh which is pretty cool that wouldn't have been possible without being a shadow knight if it was if it was my warrior group at 110 i wouldn't have been able to do that but being able to throw uh you know 800,000 to a million damage on an sk plus the rest of the damage from my group uh is, is pretty pretty awesome um so i'm really happy with how sk is working out and uh how uh uh, the group overall is i'm actually probably going to main change to sk because of how much fun i've been having working on sk and uh and how cool they are um it fits my play style a little bit more than the warrior as well since i played a necro for so long um and you know being able to to be to be clever and do clever tricksy stuff like feign death and, and all that kind of shit it's pretty cool but um uh what else we got so we kind of went over everything, really. I mean, the buffing stuff is just the stuff you would expect, right? So, like, if we... Uh, oh, hold on. Uh, make me this. So, if I clicked off uh, Horror, for example, I'm going to cast Asia. Um, this is what I was talking about before. And then it's going to check to see if, uh, you know, if any of the other buffs are better. And if so, it'll recast them if I don't already have them. Okay. So let's talk about the pet real quick. Um, so if if you have pet G hold off, uh, but you do have the ability to have pet G hold, um, when you start fighting, it'll recognize this and say, hey, wait a minute, let's turn on our G hold. So it'll automatically do things like that, turn on your G hold. Um, if I told this guy to go away, I'm gonna auto summon a new pet. And uh, once he's up, then I'm gonna buff him with uh, gift, you know, the gift line. Um, so I don't have a toggle for use pet or not. If there is enough demand for it, I guess I can add that. Um, it seems kind of silly not to need a pet, but I guess individual circumstances might, uh, might justify or warrant that. Um, it'll only try and summon a pet if you don't have a pet and you do have the components for it. So if for some reason you didn't have any bone chips, um, it wouldn't summon it. So in the meantime... If you're like the one person out of 10 hundred thousand trillion people who don't want to use a pet you can just put your bone chips in the bank um, but uh, so this is this is kind of SK this is what we were talking about here um, so again if I if I click off my buffs like a click off horror if if AZ is ready it'll cast it and then after that it'll check all the other stuff to see if I have a higher level of something so uh, if you notice, it used Asia, and then uh, it's going to load Cad Kane's Horror and cast that because I'm kind of in between levels, and um, I don't have, uh, you know, Cad Kane Horror is for rank 9. So the spell it cast was Tylix's Horror, but uh, Cad Kane's is better. So we're still going to use it first, and then we're going to still check all the other stuff to make sure that we have the best, the best buffs possible. Um, but this is kind of SK. Uh, all the pull routine and all the other stuff, the common stuff, is all the same through all the other uh, all the other plugins. Um, so that's that. 